Hi there, I'm Lisa. I'm Maddie, and this is our Friday book review. So, quick story. Uh, I was watching TV uh, one morning on the weekend, and I saw there was an author who uh, was talking about his new book, and that was none other than Josh Mallerman, and he was do, uh, talking about his new book, Mallory, that was just coming out, and I was intrigued, so I watched it, and I thought, okay, that sounds really good. I usually don't read uh, kind of books that are more, um, how would you put it, Maddie? Suspenseful, Sus scary. Yes, yeah, suspenseful and scary, especially scary. But um, he had wrote a book first called The Bird Box, and uh, it, that became a movie, and I hadn't seen the movie, so I thought, you know what, I want to read Mallory, so I should probably read Bird Box first. So I uh, looked on Libby on the Libby app. I found uh, the Bird Box book, and I started reading. And I was terrified. I was terrified, but I was absolutely enjoying reading it. It was one of those books you absolutely cannot put down. Every page you turn, there's something happening, and there's never a moment where uh, there's a amount, huge amount of suspense. So I told Maddie about it when I came to work. I'm reading this book. It's so good. I'm laying in bed at night, and I'm scared. I have to have the light on. Every noise scares me. And she was intrigued herself. And then Maddie? Yeah, I started reading it. Um, it's, yeah, it's one of those books I feel like that it's like you're not reading. You're just transported there, and there's just constantly something happening, but it's not like scary things are happening it's just that you don't know something could be happening it's all the unknown and the um I don't know, suspense and there are things that happen that are kind of that are scary because i'm a huge wimp too and i have to i had to have a light on and <laughs> reading it not at night <laughs> but it was it was extremely good and yeah like you can't put it down i read it so fast <laughs> Yeah, we, we both had talked about how, at first I stopped reading it because I was honestly was, was too scared. And then Mallory, or Maddie was like, I'm reading it. I'm like, well, I'm going to read it with Maddie. Mm -hmm. So I felt kind of safe that we were both reading at the same time. Um, but yeah, it was a very, very good book, very well written. And then Maddie started reading Mallory, which is the second book that just came out in July. Mm -hmm. It is. It doesn't start, it start, I think, in my opinion, it's not as, like, constant anxiety the entire book. It be, definitely starts like that, but then it calms down. But there, I don't know how to, like, not give it away. <laughs> but this is all, it's also very good. I'm almost done with that one. But that one is more, um, they've figured out how to live a little bit easier. And man is starting to kind of try to make their way back. Um, and figure out how to, um, I don't know, figure out the creatures because nobody knows anything about them because you can't look at them. But yeah, let's go back a little bit. The book is based on something happens, and all of a sudden people start going crazy and uh, losing their mind and killing themselves. And all of a sudden, everybody has to not look out their windows, not leave their home. Everybody's kind of locked into their homes with all of their windows shut, their doors shut. Nobody can leave their homes. I, 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 it's just... But nobody knows why. Nobody they knows why. They're told, board up your windows, don't look outside, or and you it, will die. And it's worldwide. It's not just in the United States, but it starts out, I can't remember what country, but it gradually wakes, makes its way to the United States and into her state, which is Michigan. Uh, and so that part of it is just pretty on the edge of your seat. So that, that's the first book, and mm -hmm. Mallory, I'm assuming, is more of the same. Yeah. I just started reading it uh, the other day. Yeah. So <laughs> both books are here in the library. We have Bird Box and Mallory, uh, also on Libby on Hoopla that you can read. Um, I read Bird Box on Hoopla, and I'm reading Mallory on Libby. I got um, Bird Box through Interloan. We didn't have it yet, but I'm reading our library's copy of Mallory. So. 
So if you want a suspenseful, somewhat sci-fi horror book to read, something a little different that we normally do, do read, or that you really do enjoy those books, these are definitely a couple of books you should check out. Yes, definitely. Thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.